We have been raving about our motorhome rental here in New Zealand, so we wanted to do a quick video giving you guys the full tour, basically telling you all the reasons why we're obsessed with it and never leaving. Pretty much. So we rented the Alpine 2 from Wilderness Motorhomes, and it's on the Fiat Ducato 2.3 liter turbo diesel engine, which I'm sure means something to someone out there. I don't even know what a liter is at this point, but enough about the boring stuff. Let's check out the inside. The first thing Heath and I noticed as soon as we walked into this motorhome was the interior design. Everything is bright white or this really light colored wood so it makes the room feel really spacious even though this is a tiny seven meter camper van but it's it, you know American RVs are so brown and dark so to be in something that is this light especially when it's this small made it instantly feel like oh I, I could do this so the kitchen spent a lot of time in the kitchen there's not a lot of counter space as you can see but we still have a three burner stove just like we do in our 33 foot Winnebago there's even a gas oven down here and you know a sink but there's no microwave on board so really New Zealand RVs are like healthier than American RVs we did talk about this back in episode six when we talked about why we can freedom camp easily in this rig but this is a three-way refrigerator it runs on power, it runs on battery, or it runs on propane. So right now it's on propane because we are freedom camping. And got all of our food in it. And then this up here is a little freezer box. Don't judge me for our food choices though. Heath's favorite thing about this RV, because if you know Heath at all, he has this weird thing about floor lighting. Basically what he means is any kind of ambient lighting. I still don't know why he calls it floor lighting, but he does. And so the, they have these awesome strips of lights. They're like built in here. They're built in underneath the edge of the countertops. So everything has a really nice glow. Actually, quick side note, there's this awesome full length mirror right here. Who would have thought you could get a full length mirror in a rig this tiny? Use it all the time. <laughs> but moving on to the rest of the RV. This is the largest table I've ever seen in any motorhome. And I've been in a lot. And so we've had friends with us these past couple weeks while we've been camper vanning. And this table can actually seat five, but it can also, let's see if I can find the knob. Down here. Okay. It also swings out so you can fit even more people at the table, which is great, especially when Heath and I try to both set up our laptops and hard drives and things at this table, or when we want to eat dinner and we can put all the food on this little side oh. table. Will you unlock the table so I can close it? Yeah. So giant table, that's big perk. Obviously these two chairs turn around when we're driving. Maybe that's not obvious, but they do. <laughs> so that you can drive. And yes, you do drive on the left. Right. The right. The right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, drive on, you drive on the right side of the car. Good job, babe. Thank you. <laughs> now why don't we switch and we can film the internet right behind Okay. You. So there's only a couple things on the tour that I really wanted to show off. Um, Wilderness has a package that you can opt in for Wi-Fi. So it comes with a router on board. They use a wireless provider called Wireless Nation. So they have like rural, all different kinds of coverages in New Zealand. But we were kind of weary of whether or not we wanted to upgrade. It was like 10 bucks a day. And we we're like, do we want to do that? It's kind of expensive. We're going to be there for like a month and a half. We decided to do it. And it's literally been one of the best life choices ever because we're working from the road while we're over here. So I've been on Zoom meetings and all this kind of stuff. We've been freedom camping and just been in some really remote spots. And for the most part, we've had really awesome coverage and we've been sharing all of our campsites. So we'll put a link in the show notes for this video. But having this internet, I just want to emphasize was a game changer. If you're not working, it's really not a big deal. But if you are, it's been really, really worth it. A couple other things I did want to show while we're still up in this part of the RV. One is that there's really good like floor storage. So in our brave back in the US, we always trip over our shoes at the front of the RV. And so having a good place to put our shoes in the bottom of the RV, it's one of the small things that makes our life so much better. All right, let's go to the bathroom because this is actually the cool, the internet's like on a scale of one to 10, the internet's like maybe a, a six of coolness. The bathroom is a 10. All right, let's go take a look. 
the bathroom in this RV. So seven meter long RV, 23 feet, pretty standard size. A lot of these types of rigs have a wet bath. So you've got the bathroom, the shower, all in one. But the real Harry Potter type of wizardry in this bathroom, I'm about to show you. It's gonna blow your mind. All right, you have to film down here. So you have to position the toilet. So you turn the toilet over that way. Step one. Step one. And then you have this little clip over here. Blow your mind, just get ready for this. This closes and then all shower. Okay, if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will, but I think that's amazing because then you can be here in the shower, you know, doing your business, singing, whatever you, you know, maybe cleaning up. That's what you typically do in the shower, but that has been awesome. And it's like the smallest thing, but we love it. And having the, the, the magic bathroom is pretty freaking cool. We've been in a lot of RVs, never seen that before. It's pretty baller. Last stop is the bedroom. Now, we had bought our Renabago because it had a king size bed and we're like, oh my gosh, I've never seen an RV with a king size bed before. This tiny rig also has a king size bed, but it also has the, the two twin bed options. So Heath and I, you know, whenever he hasn't showered in a week, which has happened a lot, we can have separate beds and have a little bit of space. But there's also these awesome little built-in steps where you can store your shoes or we actually store our dirty laundry in one of them. And one of Heath's favorite parts is that all of these windows just kind of push out. Dang it, I can never get them to stay. Gotta go slow. I went really slow. Beneath the beds is the garage of the RV, which we've showed in past videos. It's got all of our suitcases and things in it. Plenty of room down there, so that's what's beneath us. And I think that's probably why the beds are up so high so you get to climb up into them if you do make it into a king size there's a ladder that you can attach to climb up here behind this right here are three shelves so that is where we've got iphone cords and hard drives and a first aid kit and all those random little things that always end up by the side of your bed it's so useful got an ipad headphones it's amazing that's it that's our whole house for a month and a half i love it So these move, and then why don't we switch and you can film the internet behind you. All right, say all that again. Why? Because I got my finger in the shot. <laughs>